Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tuvas, and welcome back to another DCS gameplay video. I thought I'd do something a little different and try a kind of post-gameplay uh, voiceover commentary. Uh, this is a track playback of one of my multiplayer sessions with the Grim Reapers, where we were playing a mission I created myself called Kings of Vegas. It is basically your standard King of the Hill game mode that I had to kind of... <laughs> translate from most first-person shooters into something that can actually be played in DCS by using a whole mess of combinations of conditions and triggers and all this great stuff in the mission editor that I never thought I would ever learn how to do, but now I do! And it actually turned out pretty well, minus uh, kind of a bug that creeps up as a result of someone switching to a new vehicle while in the capture zone. But to kind of explain in case you're not familiar with the game mode, King of the Hill is basically a competition over who has control of the hill, hence king of the hill. Um, the idea is that you want to maintain absolute control, meaning that no one from the opposing team should ever be in the hill at the same time as you, because if they are, you will not be able to gain points. So once you have absolute control over the hill, you will slowly gain one point every two seconds in this version of the mission. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Now, speaking of the hill, it is marked by this these columns of fire and smoke, and there is also a height limit. You cannot be any higher than the height of the casinos, otherwise you will no longer be in the capture zone. So you have to fly low and you have to be inside this ring of fire, essentially, in order to gain points. And on top of that, like I said, you have to be the only team in that capture zone to gain points. Uh, so our objective here is to make sure the red team, we are blue, stays out of the capture zone by killing them. So if you notice, I am staying on the left hand side, trying to do kind of an outside pincer attack as the rest of my team goes in on the right side. And here I am, I think I spotted someone off in the distance, so I'm trying to move my way around to get kind of a sneak up attack from behind, and if I remember correctly, I actually do get lucky because I happen to spot a an enemy flying in. And sure enough, there's an enemy gazelle Right there, so I'm kind of trying to get a snapshot in the gazelle and take a couple hot shots, and sh ah, just like that, got that nice quick shot in. He's already smoking, he's losing control. And then I'm not sure if he's actually dead, even though he's spinning around, so I take a couple more shots, and then he just explodes on the side of that building at the, <laughs> at the Bellagio. So I just turn back around, make sure I don't get too high, so I can maintain uh, capture of the, maintain possession of the hill, and slowly the game points. So you can see they're on the top right hand side. Blue points is plus one every two seconds. This is because no one else on the opposing team is currently occupying it. They're either outside of the ring, too high above the ring, or just dead. So right now I am doing my job of just staying nice and low and hidden, just making sure I'm in the capture area, while my buddies do their work of making sure they keep the enemy busy. Now of course at this point I do think we were able to push all the enemies out. My two friendly K-50s plus the Huey that's out behind. They were having their own little battle in the sky against the MI-8 and another K-50. Meanwhile, I took out that one gazelle who's trying to lag behind a little bit to see if he can spot anyone in the distance fighting already. So now I am just kind of hovering, sneaking around, taking a little poke out, trying to see if there's anyone on the opposing team coming in from the distance. And I think I do spot someone. Nope, oh, nope, no, nope, that's a friendly. I was worried for a second, but yeah, the only people occupying the zone right now is just blue team. So we are just waiting for anyone to show up in the distance. Now, just keep in mind, they, while their red base is only to the south, so in that direction, they do have the uh, ability to go around the Ring of Fire like I did when the, when the match first started, like how I moved on to the left. They could very well go entirely around the ring and sneak in from behind. But that would take more time, which would result in us gaining more points. So uh, there's quite a bit of strategy that needs to be developed when playing this kind of game mode. So, for example, my buddies over there, they're kind of pushing ahead outside of the ring because they know I'm still capturing. Uh, so that allows them to kind of hunt for the, en for the enemy team before they have a chance to reach the ring. But that also leaves me uh, defenseless because someone could very well just sneak up behind me and blast me out the sky and then claim the hill for themselves. So right now, we're just hunting around, trying to see if we could find anyone on the red team to kill. And I think I was notified that there was an enemy MI-8 in the area, but I'm not sure. So I'm looking around, trying to see if I spot... Oh, and there we go. We have someone... Yep, there's the enemy MI-8. That should be Fort Narrow, actually, if I remember right. 
and I'm trying to do my best to stay hidden because he doesn't know where I'm at. I, he passed right over me. I'm going to see if I get in position to actually take a pot shot at him, but looks like... Oh, oh wow, that's a great shot. But uh, plenty of my teammates, as you can tell, I'm capturing the area, doing my job, and the rest of my team is doing their job and just completely obliterating the enemy. Uh, so I'm just going to stay nice and low, and if I have to engage, then I will. But otherwise, I'm just going to stay low and uh, continue capturing the zone. Yeah, a little bit of a lag spike there. Double checking my armaments, make sure they're okay. Oh, and I'm getting shot at from behind, so I'm pulling up, turning around, trying to see what the heck was shooting at me despite the lag. And it looks like it's an enemy gazelle right over the Bellagio Fountain, so I'm going to move in and try to go uh, respawn back with my own fire. Yep, as long as it stops lagging. Take a few shots at him. Uh, couldn't quite hit him there, but let's see if we can get him this time. He's, oh man, that's a great move. He was able to get, get below me and throw my aim off. Uh, oh, this guy is crazy. Do my best to get the shots on. I think I got a spark there, and he just lagged out like crazy. I have no idea where he went at that point. Uh, so I'm going to turn a little bit around, see if I can find him again. Yep, there he is. He's still alive. He just lagged out and snapped back in that position. Now oh, this guy is going crazy, man. Uh, at this point, I just kind of ignored him because my friendly K-50 here notified me that there was another enemy K-50 just beyond the smoke over here. So I just forgot about the gazelle. He was just going way too crazy. He's probably going to crash on his own. Um, of course, that is my famous last words. So I turned back around just to double check. So I think my friendly K-50 is uh, capable of taking on that enemy just fine. Yep, there's the gazelle. So let's go ahead and re-engage. Oh, got my rockets. I meant to get my guns. And there we go. I saw his tail off, and he's going down. So I'm going to drop back down towards the fountain, make sure I end up in the capture zone. That'll give my friendlies the opportunity to get back up into the sky into an advantageous position at a high altitude and drop down on any enemies that try to get the capture zone. Alright, and at this point, it looks like my friendlies over there on the right-hand side are kind of scoping things out, seeing if there's any, any other enemy helicopters they have to take down. Yeah, yeah, at this point, I think we pretty much just got the capture zone. Yeah, we've got dominance again. Oh, looks like an enemy is actually flying in. Yep, and we are getting fired on from both the front and a little bit to the right. Looks like that new SA-342 minigun variant is firing off from the distance, which is a great strategy. All he has to do is just orbit the ring and fire in from outside. Oh, man, and that Huey is just armed with rockets trying to take him out. But the friendly K-50 is coming in with his, uh, with his pylon-mounted gun pods just ripping apart this Huey Jesus yep got a hit there his engine is now on fire of course I'm trying to do my job but still keep an eye on the action in case someone tries to come in on me and just shoot me down but it looks like they were able to take care of that enemy Huey just fine oh and I can't tell who is who who is a bad guy there are at least two K-50s right above me I don't know if they're both friendlies or one's enemy one's ally I can't be sure this guy could very well be an enemy I don't know but all I know for sure is that he didn't see me if he is so I'm just going to stay nice and low, keep an eye on the action. If I have to engage, then I will. If I have to help him help out my buddies, then I will. Uh, but for now, just stay nice and low. Oh, <laughs> and this MA Fort Narrow, you're going to pay for that. And he did, with a rocket right up the tailpipe. Uh, it's always good to make sure you can identify who is friend and foe, because <laughs> Fort Narrow just passed right over me, despite him being on the other team. So, uh, and then here's the SA-342 minigun variant who's been orbiting around the ring. So I'm trying to snipe him out the sky. Let's see if I can get him. Oh my god! I actually got him! Oh man, that's crazy. I actually took his tail off from that distance. Holy crap! Okay, so and the uh, SA-342L variant, the light, I guess, light attack variant. Oh man, this thing is crazy good in this kind of uh, game mode. Oh man, this is actually a pretty great run, man. <laughs> That, uh, that rocket to the back of the MI-8 followed up with a sniper shot with my side-mounted uh, gun. And to be fair, I think that gun can actually take out light armor units just with, without too many issues. Oh man, that guy is toast. I think that's actually... Oh, crap, that was Signore. So this is an enemy K-50 here. And one of my friendly K-50s just got shot down there. The, he was the one on fire. I think that was Signore. So I'm taking a few shots at this K uh, enemy K-50. Trying to get him uh, to lose some engine power so he can hopefully crash without me doing too much work. Of course, my real goal is to just completely destroy him because he's currently contesting the capture zone. Red has hill and they're currently gain gaining points, so I'm doing my best to get rid of this guy. Yep, trying to get the rocket. Yep, there we go, there's another rocket hit. Okay, K-50 down, he exploded, and now we are we have captured the zone once again. 
the hill is one is once again ours and my reinforcements are now coming in that right now i spotted this huey off in this distance i'm pretty sure he's an ally so i'm probably going to ask him to pop a flare just in case and sure enough, yep there we go he's a friendly all right and if you notice we are now at 95 now 97 points we are about to win and that is it for the blue team so Thank you all for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you really like and like to see more of this kind of stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And tune in next time for some more DCS gameplay. Have a good one, guys. Take care.